Hey Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. Keep in mind this message is for any Leo placement you want to check in on, including any planet or astrological house that may be in Leo. Whatever it is, you are welcome here. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. Spiritual team, what is the overall energy for the next seven days for my Leos? What is the overall energy for the next seven days for my Leos? Hello. Uh, too many. Let's try again. Spiritual team, what is the overall energy for the next seven days for my Leos? What is the overall energy for the next seven days for my Leos? All right, let's see. What do we have? Do, 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 do. All right, we have the peppermint success. Love it. And at the bottom of the deck, we have rosemary memory. Okay, and your sign is on this one too. Okay, hmm, not picking anything up with these cards just yet. So let's get into the tarot and see what it is you guys need to know. Spiritual team, what messages? Oh, that was fast. <laughs> okay, we have the king of wands and the moon reversed. We also have the six of wands, yes. And the two of swords reversed with the lover's card at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Let's get the bottom of this deck real quick. We have the Lovers, the Five of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. Okay, definitely seeing a need for some self-care with the Four of Swords and Queen of Pentacles reversed. Definitely take care of yourselves. You guys are going to be working hard, especially when it comes to like mental focus, um, debating, negotiations, and things like that. Um, that can really take it out of you, especially because we are in Mercury retrograde. So making sure that you're really on top of things and paying attention to the details, especially when it comes to things like negotiations, is going to be really important and it will probably wear you out more than normal. So definitely take time out to take care of yourselves. Um, I also see a really great partnership here with the lover's card. This could be a business partnership. Um, maybe it comes from a negotiation of some sort or just being able to like mentally match up with somebody, okay? They may be really intelligent and really good at debating. You may also be really intelligent and good at debating and you guys come together and decide, you know what, maybe we should work together. I think we'd be a really powerful team, okay? Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot, okay. Um, for some of you, this could also talk about relationships, like interpersonal relationships, romantic relationships. Um, there could be a lot of back and forth, verbal back and forth as well. Um, that could be wearing you out. Okay, again, just remember to take care of yourselves. Um, but you know, Mercury retrograde is in full swing. So there is going to be a lot of conversations. There's going to be a lot of rehashing things that maybe we thought had been resolved. And now we have to kind of go back and have another talk about it, whether that is romantic or otherwise. Um, so just keep that in mind and be prepared for that. Let's get into these cards up here. I love seeing the Six of Wands. I love seeing the King of Wands. This has definitely got Leo written all over it. You guys are... Um, really on top of your shit. Like you guys have a vision of what it is that you are going after and then you're going there and achieving it full force. Um, the moon card is really interesting too, seeing that here in the reverse. This talks to me about revealing something, having a realization, or seeing the, the way forward. And that's kind of how you're able to um, achieve the success that you are achieving um, either this week or for the rest of September or whenever you guys are seeing this. Um, yeah, the moon in reverse. This talks to me about something that you didn't quite see before. Maybe this is something um, that had happened or came up in the past and you had forgotten about it and now you're kind of realizing something um, that could apply to what it is that you do now or a situation that you're in now. And now that this fog has kind of lifted and you're realizing um, kind of the mystery behind whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, it's like now you know exactly what you need to do and you come out on top, which is absolutely beautiful. I love that. 
The Two of Swords in Reverse is really interesting though. Why is that here? I guess this Two of Swords in Reverse is just talking about something that you had, again, either forgotten about or hadn't really known how to work through it up until this point. And the Moon in Reverse is telling me that it's it's finally clear. They have an understanding of how to move forward. Okay. Um, again, this could be for literally anything, so apply it how it resonates to your specific situations. Not every Leo is going to have the same situation, so I do try to keep the messages as general as possible. Um, again, it is a general message, but do apply that to whatever this is resonating for. I see some really beautiful things for you guys and some really great realizations that are going to help you achieve what it is you need to achieve. So yes, good for Leos. Let's get into the final Oracle deck of the reading. Now remember Leos, whatever messages come from this deck could be related to what we've been talking about, could be completely unrelated. It's just additional things you need to know for the next seven days. Spiritual team, what final messages do you have for my Leos for the next seven days? Okay. Uh oh. I got the sniffles. Hold on. Much better. Okay, let's get into this second half of the deck. Spiritual team, what final messages do you have for my Leos for the next seven days? What final messages do you have for my Leos for the next seven days? All right. Do, 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 do. This one. Okay, we have the month of February. So this could be something that you're thinking about that goes back to the month of February for some of you guys. Um... Who's in February? That is Pisces, Pisces and Aquarius energy. So maybe you have some strong Pisces or Aquarius energy in your charts. Sorry, I got the sniffles. Now I got the sneezes. I don't know what's going on here, Leos. I apologize. But, um, or this is something that you could be working towards for next February. <laughs> All right, hopefully no more sneeze attacks now. But um, mostly I'm getting this is something that you're remembering or you've been trying to figure out since February and now you're kind of starting to get the aha moment. You're like, oh, that's what that was. Or now I know what I need to do. And then you just, you kill it. All right, we have the jug, lighthearted, carefree time. I like that. Things definitely feel a lot easier for you guys. You guys are moving very smoothly. Um, this week and probably in the next couple of weeks. We also have the bag, something important such as a new job or raise. Hey, I like that. Get it, Leos. Get it. So maybe that's what this is about. Maybe it's something work-related. Let's take a look at the bottom of each of these piles. We have the cane. Pay attention to your health. I said that at the beginning, didn't I? Pay attention to your health. Um, take care of yourselves. Give yourselves uh, time to rest for self-care. We also have the fan at the bottom of this half and it says romance, celebration, party. Okay. So I did get a little bit of love, especially at the bottom of the deck. Um, the six of wands could be a celebration with a partner, a partnership, a romantic partner. Um, you guys could be celebrating something major that you guys have achieved together. Or maybe this is... Um, not necessarily a romantic partnership, but a business partnership that you guys are celebrating a success in as well. So again, take what resonates. Some beautiful messages here for you guys though. Please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the reading and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more messages like this in the future. If you want to see more content from me, I am on Instagram, TikTok, I have a blog. All that info on where to find me is below in the description box along with my website if you want to schedule a personal reading. As always though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week and I hope to see you next time. Bye!